Hi everybody, this is Josh from Palmer Creative. In this video, I'm responding to Lynn Patterson's question. She writes, Josh, well, I need your help. I want to take a background and cut a puzzle shape piece out of it and remove the rest of the background so I just have the puzzle piece with the selected portion of the background in the workspace. I want to remove the rest of the background image. Can I do that? Now this was posted on a Google Drawings video and I want to show you I guess some of the limitations of Google Drawings. There are things that you can do that are like this, but I want to show you a solution that Google Drawings may, may not be able to provide, but something else that could do what you're asking. So first of all, let's look at Google Drawings. What can you do with Google Drawings? Well, Google Drawings so far does not have any uh, Boolean operations, meaning like being able to uh, combine shapes together or clip things inside of other shapes, except for the cropping feature. Now the cropping feature is right up here. So with my image selected, if I click on this, see it says mask image, if I drop that down, and I can choose any of the default shapes. Now there's no way to change these shapes or add to these shapes. So we can choose something that may be close to what you're looking for, something like this. And we can double click to crop inside of this image. And we can do a couple of things to change this, maybe rotate it, that kind of thing. You can look through all of these shapes. There are several, but there's not really a puzzle piece like you're looking for. Uh, maybe you will find something that's close enough. Maybe not. But I did want to show you that this is something that I, I think is pretty overlooked that is available inside Google Drawings. Being able to do things like, like this, being able to do sort of some, some of these custom croppings. For example, if you wanted to, I get this one a lot actually. If I wanted to, uh, let's actually take the same image and just reset it. And what I'm going to first do is draw out a, a circle kind of right where I want to crop this image. And the reason I'm doing this is that uh, Google Drawings does very good at finding things on the page to sort of match up with and gives me guides to uh, match match up with and it does that in the cropping as well so uh, if, for example if I wanted to get a circle out of this that is something that you can do in the the image mask and so I'm just going to choose the circle and you see this is actually an oval that's why I created that circle first so inside here I can double click and then adjust my cropping until I match up with that circle. You see I get those blue guides. So now I'm going to get a perfect circle. And now I can get rid of this little guide here. And now just double clicking in here I can move my image around inside that circle and I've got that masked out. So that's something that I think comes in really handy. I use that a lot because I like circles. Uh, it works really really well for creating web graphics. Uh, profile images, that kind of thing. Now, for more complicated things uh, like custom shapes and clipping images inside of those shapes, I want to point you to something that you can provide that solution. It's Gravit.io. Gravit.io is a vector-based application that runs online in your web browser, much like Google Drawings, but it looks sm uh, much more similar to something like Illustrator, maybe an older version of Illustrator. You have layers in here, you can import SVGs, you can import images as well. You have, uh, you do have Boolean operations, meaning grouping, merging, uh, subtracting, unifying of shapes. Um, and so let me show you quickly how you could accomplish what you're trying to do with Gravit. Okay, so this would work on a Chromebook, this would work on any computer. It's Gravit.io. I'm just going to grab an SVG and I can make this available if you'd like. So this is a custom shape and I'm just going to position it here on the page and then I'm going to import a photo. I'm just going to grab one here 
And with both of these selected, you, know, you can't see the, the puzzle piece because it's underneath, but I'm just going to hit clip. And you can see that's exactly what you're asking. Done.